أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله This town is is really very old. It's a it has a history dating back to the fourth century BC, believe it or not. But most of what's here is from the 1800s. Cherince is a village known for its well-preserved Ottoman architecture. It's also an emblem of modern Turkish history and politics. For like many such villages. Until the Republic of Turkey came into existence in 1923, after the fall of the Ottomans, Cherince was a town of Greek-speaking Orthodox Christians. They were quite literally swapped for Turkish-speaking Muslims from Greece as part of one of the greatest peacetime population exchanges ever. The people here uh, had for generations grown olives and peaches, but the large-scale new inhabitants of the town who came here were primarily tobacco farmers from Greece who knew nothing about olives and fruit growing and, in fact, uh, uh, chopped down many of the olive trees and sold them for firewood. Now I think it's safe to say that it changed the face of villages like Cherince. And indeed it, uh, it took generations for it to uh, regain its equilibrium. <laughs> This is Emini, and she knows this firsthand. Her grandmother came here from the Greek city of Thessaloniki during the Great Swap, and she spent her entire life in or near the village. Do you have children? Uh, two boy, uh, two boy. This big boy, thirty-six. Uh, small boy, thirty-two. So, uh, young people growing up here, do they stay here or do they often move to a bigger place? Yeah. Yeah. She pointed me to the most important place of remembrance from before the village's transformation. Behind a modest rendition of the Virgin Mary, that place is now mostly silent and empty. I'm temporarily alone in this Greek Orthodox Church which now appears to be only a museum, but its mere existence and restoration says so much about the changes that have taken place in southwestern Turkey over the last century. It's rather an eerie feeling, uh, in a sense, knowing that not only generations, but centuries of Christians worshiped here, and they have all but vanished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Chirinte was said to have been semi-derelict in the late 1980s when a well-known Istanbul linguist and his wife decided to settle here and campaigned hard to have this place established as a Turkish national heritage site. They succeeded and a wide-scale renovation of the, the village began. People began fixing up their places some investments were made here and uh, it became a really go-to place a created tourist attraction if you will waiting to happen for the last quarter century it's been a favorite getaway place both for Turks and for international travelers in fact uh, this is a Monday the reason I specifically didn't come here yesterday is because of the reputed crowds here on Sundays. So a, lot, a lot of uh, local tourists, whether or not it's low or high season on the international end. And one can see why. It's, it's a charming town. It's your dog? Yes. He's beautiful. <laughs> yes, thank you. Your name is Bal. Bal? Bal. 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 Actually, what I'm trying to do at the moment is wind my way to near the top of the village so that I can hopefully uh, look down on it and uh, have a panoramic view. But it's sort of anybody's guess as to which of these stone alleyways to take. As you can expect, the uh, the residential streets are, are actually few here because many of the homes built into this hillside are accessed through stone walkways. Lots of Ottoman style homes that look to be 100 to 200 years old, most of them uh, painted white, a bit faded, and with lots of windows, which is typical of the style. From the top, the green Anatolian hills on one side, the village on the other.
On the quirkier side, Chiorense was a, a phenomenon briefly in the year 2012 when uh, certain New Age adherents determined that with the end of the Mayan calendar that year, this place had the kind of energy that might uh, help them survive whatever catastrophe they expected. And many flocked here. No hint of that these days. On weekdays, at least, Terence is the kind of place where people still walk in the middle of the street and where low-powered motorbikes share the cobbled lanes with tractors. Not only here in Chorense, but elsewhere in Turkey thus far, I've noticed that there are lots of cats, which is fine by me because I like cats. And I've noticed that every time I sit down somewhere, as I'm doing now on a bench, I have a new friend. Which is kind of nice. The same can be said for a day spent in Chirinse before it's time to hop the bus to Sochuk and prepare for a travel day. My destination, one of Turkey's natural wonders celebrated since ancient times, the spectacular mineral water-infused hill at Pamukkale. As they say, see you there.